the sound of a video. The often underestimated part of the recording, but actually the more important one. Now, sound is an ungrateful subject in that it won't get much attention or notice from your audience if you handle it right. Small mistakes, on the other hand, tend to be noticed immediately and then are hugely distracting. If the sound is persistently echoing, hissing or too quiet, to name some of the most common problems, it's hard to follow along. Simple as that. For successful sound recordings, we need to pay attention to two main aspects, the microphone and the room. In this video, I will cover the tech part. That is, what to consider when choosing the right microphone for your recording. Okay, let's dive in. First of all, there is no such thing as the right microphone in our case. There are many different types of microphones and ways to record sound with them. The easiest workflow would probably be to simply rely on the camera's built-in microphone, but we will reject that option right away. No matter how good your camera is, you should record your audio externally. That means using an additional microphone. Reasons why the integrated camera sound is often not usable. First, uh, the camera is usually so far away, usually, not today, so far away from you that you would have too much ambient sound or room sound in the form of reverberation and or background noise in your recording. Secondly, the integrated microphone also picks up sounds from your camera. For example, when the autofocus is adjusted, we don't want that. External microphones don't have to cost that much these days. On the other hand, it would be saving on the wrong part of the production if you choose the cheapest solution when it comes to sound. There are some microphones for around 10 bucks, but microphones for around 50 bucks are also among the cheaper ones. Question, what should you look for when buying a microphone for an edutainment video production? Well, without wanting to dive too deeply into theory, the so-called directional characteristic should be pointed out here, by which microphones differ significantly from one another. There are three types of directivity. The directional characteristic here refers to how sensitive a microphone is to the angle of sound incidence. In other words, where the sound that is to be recorded comes from. If it doesn't matter, because the sound is picked up equally well by the microphone from all sides, we speak of an omnidirectional pattern. For example, lapel microphones, also called lavalier or clip-on microphones, have an omnidirectional characteristic. These are the little things that we can easily clip on our shirt or top. The cable then runs under the clothing. Now, clip-on microphones can be attached to just about any top and in the case of a shirt collar can be also hidden so that they are not visible at all. For this purpose, the cable and mic are taped to the textile from the inside. Whether the choice of your wardrobe produces any noise that disturbs the sound when you move around should be tested in any case before the actual shoot. The advantage of a lapel microphone is that we can move freely and the sound is recorded consistently. Even when sitting at a table, it can make quite a difference whether we lean forward or backward. Nevertheless, the movement in front of the camera is for the kind of entertainment video we are concerned with here, so small that this aspect is not that important. Another advantage is that a lapel microphone is less sensitive to the conditions of the room. Where the recording would reverberate with other microphones, you can still work well with clip-on microphones. If a microphone primarily hears the sound coming from the front, picks up sound from the side more quietly and strongly suppresses noise from the back, that is everything that happens behind the microphone, it is a cardioid microphone. A microphone with a cardioid pickup pattern should be positioned as close as possible to the sound source in order to achieve the best possible sound. This means that such a microphone would be placed in front of you on the table or at least be visible in the video. However, in the age of uh, video streamed podcast sessions, no one is actually bothered by this. But beware, to have these mics really close means close to the mouth, close to the lips, 
Such studio mics are then all the more sensitive for all the strange little noises that we sometimes produce ourselves when speaking. Some of the typical human noise can be digitally removed or avoided altogether. For this purpose, studio microphones can be equipped with a pop filter, which not only removes pop noises, but also breathing sounds, whatever. If you want to position the microphone outside the picture, then you need a model with a lobe characteristic. These microphones are also called shotgun microphones and are often used in film when the sound is captured by a boom arm operator from outside the scene. Advantage, a shotgun microphone blocks out ambient noise even more so than a cardioid microphone and focuses entirely of what you are saying if it is precisely aimed at you. Cons, if not aimed right at you, the recording will go wrong and sound messy. Depending on the camera model, the obvious thought is to mount a shotgun microphone directly on the camera. Thanks to the lobe characteristic, the noise from the camera is then less noticeable. However, this is only possible in smaller, well-furnished rooms without large bare walls. And if the camera, and thus the microphone, is placed quite close to you. Otherwise, too much ambient sound will resonate in the recording. A more professional solution is mounting the microphone on a tripod with a boom arm. This allows you to record sound directly from above, as close as possible and directly aimed at your mouth, but still just outside the frame. You can work well with any of these three types of microphones. In the end, you have to decide for yourself which is the right one for you. And maybe you already have a particular microphone available to you. If so, thanks for listening anyway.